He is ruthless, unstoppable, and a phenomenon in the making. Meet Shavkat Nomad Rachmanov, the Kazakh warrior taking the MMA world by storm with his unmatched skill and unbreakable will. His nickname Nomad is a testament to his resilient spirit and journey through combat sports. With a blend of traditional Kazakh fighting spirit and modern martial arts mastery, Nomad has become a symbol of excellence in the fighting community. His journey is a tale of perseverance, cultural pride, and the relentless pursuit of greatness. Born into the rugged landscapes of Kazakhstan on October 23, 1994, Shavkat Rachmanov's life was steeped in the challenges that shaped him into the fighter he is today. His rise from the tough days of loading trucks in Kazakhstan to shining under the bright lights of UFC 296 is a tale of sheer determination and belief. Due to financial constraints, he couldn't pursue formal education and instead worked as a loader to support his family. Back then, working in low-paying jobs, it seemed almost surreal to dream of this level. Rachmanov once said, But my faith in relentless hard work were my guiding lights. How inspiring is that? Rachmanov's roots trace back to a nomadic tribe in Uzbekistan, a lineage of fighters. Immersed in the nomadic traditions of his ancestors, he was raised in a culture that valued strength, endurance, and combat mastery. Rachmanov started combat training at the age of six, often engaging in fights with other children under his brother's watchful eyes. His sister Sora, also an MMA fighter, stands testament to the fighting spirit that runs in the family. Rachmanov also emphasized that his tribe descended from nomads known for their fierceness and warlike nature. Rachmanov reflects, In the vast steeps of Kazakhstan, you learn to be tough. Fighting isn't just a sport, it's part of who we are. The Kazakh warrior balanced education with training, often traveling long distances to learn from the best coaches. Rachmanov faced initial challenges, but soon found his rhythm in a local Sambo training facility. His early days were tough, with few willing to train with a newcomer. Rachmanov relocated to Kokshetau after being admitted to Kokshetau State University and began studying in physical education. His dedication was evident from the start, as he developed his skills in various martial arts, including judo and sambo. The transformation from local talent to nomad started earnestly as Rachmanov got into MMA. His natural ability shone through, and soon he was making waves in regional competitions. Shavkat Rachmanov isn't a karate or Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. Although his grappling skills are devastating, his primary skill is sambo. However, like all mixed martial artists, he incorporates other fighting styles. He is said to have a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and his ground game and striking are excellent. His proficiency in grappling and striking made him a formidable opponent. But what truly defines a champion? For Rachmanov, it's not just about the victories in the ring, but the battles fought and won within oneself. At 18 years old, he claimed the World Championship title in amateur MMA for WMMAA in 2013. However, in both the 2014 and 2015 WMMAA World Championships, he finished as a runner-up to Gazimurad Kira Magomedov. These encounters were more than just fights, they were intense battles of skill and will. Kira Magomedov became the only person to have defeated Rachmanov in two separate MMA fights. He learned valuable lessons from adversity that greatly benefited his style, technique, and future in the fighting world. Curious about his debut match? Rachmanov kicked off his professional career on October 17, 2014 at M1 Challenge 52 in Almaty, Kazakhstan. He faced Adam Zurov, a 26-year-old Russian fighter holding a 2-2 record. The first few exchanges were tentative, both fighters sizing each other up. Then Rachmanov exploded, launching a lightning-fast jab that clicked Zurov's chin. Zurov stumbled back, momentarily stunned. Rachmanov seized the opportunity, unleashing a series of punches and kicks. Zurov, overwhelmed by the attack, attempted a takedown, but Rachmanov didn't step back. He countered brilliantly, wrapping his legs around Zurov and cinching a tight triangle choke. Zurov struggled, but Rachmanov's grip was unyielding. The crowd held their breath. Zurov submitted to the inevitable with a grimace. A single tap on the mat echoed in the tense silence. 
Rachmanov let go, chest heaving, arms raised in victory. The Kazakh warrior had done it. He had conquered a young lion in a foreign cage, and his roar echoed with the promise of many more to come. He competed primarily under the M1 banner, participating in seven bouts and showcasing his skills in the Kazakhstan Mixed Martial Arts Federation, KZM MMAF. His career saw him alternating between these platforms, leading to his first professional title opportunity against Faradun Odilov for the KZMMAF welterweight belt. The outcome? Rachmanov clinched with a third round TKO. His victories in different tournaments laid the foundation for his future successes and caught the attention of international promoters. Rachmanov successfully defended his KZMMAF welterweight title at Battle of Nomads 11 against Renat Sayakbaev in December 2018. His dominant performance solidified his position as one of the top prospects in the Asian MMA scene. He returned to M1 at the beginning of the following year, facing Danila Prikaza at M1 Challenge 101 for the vacant M1 welterweight championship. Rachmanov faces a powerful kickboxer with lightning-fast reflexes this time. The fight explodes from the opening bell. Prikaza charges forward, unleashing a flurry of kicks that Rachmanov narrowly avoids. Rachmanov responds with a takedown attempt, but Prikaza sprawls effectively and stays firm. The middle rounds become a furious battle. Rachmanov uses his footwork and tricks to lure Prikaza into overcommitting, then counters with accurate punches and takedown attempts. Prikaza, in turn, relies on his superior reach and footwork to stay on the outside and land sharp counter kicks. In the final round, Rachmanov shoots for a takedown. This time, he manages to drag Prikaza to the ground. He takes control from the top, raining down punches and elbows until the referee steps in to stop the fight moments before the final bell. This way, he secured the title with a second round TKO, earning his second championship belt. During this period, Rachmanov was entitled to the nickname Nomad. In his final appearance on the regional circuit, Rachmanov defended his M1 welterweight title with a commanding first-round stoppage of Tiago Vedijao at M1 Challenge 102. This win opened doors for Rachmanov, paving the way for him to compete in larger international organizations and chase even bigger titles. Shavkat Rachmanov made history as the first Kazakh to ink a deal with the UFC. The air crackled with anticipation in London's O2 Arena. Shavkat Rachmanov, the first Kazakh fighter to grace the UFC's octagon, awaited his debut against Bartosz Fabinski, a seasoned Polish veteran. Rachmanov, undefeated with 12 first-round finishes, symbolized Kazakhstan's burgeoning MMA scene. His crisp striking and suffocating grappling promised an exciting clash with Fabinski, known for his relentless pressure and knockout power. However, the COVID-19 pandemic led to the event's cancellation. A matchup with Ramazan Emiv was on the cards for July 26, 2020 at UFC on ESPN, Whitaker vs. Till, but an injury forced Rachmanov out, leading to his replacement by Nicholas Stolz. While the fight delivered action, it lacked the electric tension of the original matchup. Rachmanov's withdrawal was a blow, but it wasn't a knockout. Rachmanov's awaited UFC debut finally happened against Alex Oliveira at UFC 254 on October 24, 2020, after Elizeu Zaleski dos Santos withdrew due to injury. Oliveira missed weight, turning the fight into a catchweight bout. Oliveira, known for his potent striking, looked for openings, but Rachmanov countered with sharp jabs and leg kicks. Then, in a blink, the tide turned. Rachmanov, a master grappler, capitalized on a missed right hand from Oliveira and swiftly transitioned into a picture-perfect guillotine choke. With a tap on the mat, silence descended upon the arena, broken only by the referee's declaration, Rachmanov wins by submission round one. Rachmanov's dominant debut, a first-round submission, emphatically announced his arrival on the UFC stage. On June 26, 2021, at UFC Fight Night, Rachmanov faced Michel Prazeres. The UFC Apex in Las Vegas buzzed with anticipation as two skilled welterweights prepared to lock horns. 
Rachmanov, known for his suffocating grappling and relentless pressure, faced a seasoned veteran in Praseres, a crafty striker with a knack for finding openings. Midway through the first round, Rachmanov closed the distance with a lightning-fast takedown. He quickly transitioned to Prazeres' back, squeezing him tight with a body triangle. Prazeres fought valiantly, but Rachmanov's grip was unwavering. He slowly tightened the choke, squeezing the air out of Prazeres' lungs. The tension in the arena was high, Prazeres' face filled with pain, his eyes wide with desperation. Just as it seemed he might break free, Rachmanov cranked the choke even tighter. With a gasp, Prazeres tapped the mat, a white flag in a battle of wills. Rachmanov erupted in celebration, his arms raised in victory as the referee waved off the fight. The Kazakh crowd roared with approval, witnessing their champion once again dominate the octagon. His second round submission, a masterclass in grappling control, cemented his place as a rising star in the UFC welterweight division. With each victory, the Nomad carves his name deeper into UFC history, leaving fans and opponents alike in awe of his unstoppable rise. Rachmanov's knockout mastery was on full display against Carlston Harris at UFC Fight Night on February 5, 2022. The opening seconds were a chess match, both fighters cautious, probing for weaknesses. Then Rachmanov struck. Rachmanov unleashed a lightning-fast spinning wheel kick, a blur of leg and leather that connected flush with Harris's chin. The impact was thunderous. Harris's legs buckled, eyes glazed over. Rachmanov, a predator sensing weakness, pounced. A barrage of subsequent blows drove home the devastating impact. The referee intervened, mercifully stopping the carnage before the first round could even reach its halfway point. The arena was on its feet. Rachmanov, arms raised in victory, stood amidst the wreckage, the calm after the storm. Rachmanov's knockout of Harris extended his undefeated streak to 15 fights. This also earned him the coveted Performance of the Night Award. Entering a new five-fight contract, Rachmanov took on Neil Magny at UFC on ESPN 38 on June 25, 2022. He emerged victorious with a second-round guillotine choke bagging another performance of the night bonus. What's next? A scheduled bout with Jeff Neal at UFC Fight Night on January 14, 2023 was postponed due to Neal's injury. They finally clashed at UFC 285 on March 4, 2023. Neal's weigh-in overage turned it into a catchweight match. The first two rounds exploded with action. Neil fought valiantly, landing hard elbows and threatening sweeps, but Rachmanov's control was suffocating. The second round ended with Neil bloodied and gasping for air. The third round proved decisive. Rachmanov capitalized on Neil's fatigue, taking him down again and quickly transitioning to his back. He cinched a tight rear naked choke, squeezing the air out of Neil's lungs. Despite desperate struggles, Neil couldn't escape. With a gasp and a tap, he succumbed to the choke, the fight ending in dramatic fashion. Rachmanov won with a third-round rear-naked choke, earning his first Fight of the Night award. Rachmanov was set to face Kelvin Gastelum at UFC Fight Night 227 on September 16, 2023. Gastelum sustained a facial fracture in training and was forced to withdraw from the fight, leaving Rachmanov without an opponent on short notice. This was a setback for Rachmanov's momentum, as he had been on a tear, winning his previous four fights by stoppage. However, he remained focused and determined to get back in the octagon as soon as possible. Let's recall his most recent fight. Before we continue, a quick pause. If you're gripped by the journey of Nomad, smash that like button and hit subscribe for more stories from the world of combat sports. And hey, why not share this video with a friend who's just as captivated by the stories of these incredible athletes? Let's continue with the thundering saga of Shavkat Nomad Rachmanov. It was December 16, 2023. The T-Mobile Arena buzzed with anticipation for a clash of styles at UFC 296. In one corner stood Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, the veteran welterweight legend known for his elusive footwork and potent counter-strikes. On the other, Shavkat Rachmanov, 
the rising Kazakh star with a suffocating grappling game and unwavering determination. Thompson, known for his incredible cardio and escape artistry, fought valiantly. He struggled hard, but Rachmanov's grip was unyielding. Seconds ticked by, the tension in the arena thick enough to cut. Just as it seemed Thompson might escape, Rachmanov squeezed tighter. With a final, desperate tap on the canvas, Rachmanov remained victorious again. He achieved a remarkable feat, becoming the first to submit Thompson in MMA with a rear naked choke in the dying seconds of the second round. As of December 19, 2023, he is currently ranked number three in the UFC welterweight division. Rachmanov's journey is a source of pride and joy for his community. It's not about being a hero, he says, but about the respect and recognition from my people. His transition from Uzbekistan to Kazakhstan as a teenager marked the beginning of his foray into combat sambo. This eventually led him to amateur MMA and the Asian Championships. In the octagon, Rachmanov is a spectacle of technical brilliance and raw aggression. His well-rounded skills in MMA make him a dangerous opponent, regardless of whether the fight is standing or on the ground. The pressure is always there, he admits, but it's about getting the job done no matter where the fight takes me. Curious about his life beyond the ring? Away from the octagon, Rachmanov cherishes his private life with family and close friends. While he avoids excessive public exposure, his dedication to his loved ones fuels his drive and resilience. This balance between the intensity of his professional life and the warmth of his personal life adds a lot to his character. Rachmanov prioritizes both mental and physical well-being, incorporating meditation and disciplined lifestyle into his rigorous training schedule. His influence extends beyond the ring. Rachmanov is actively involved in community development, often participating in youth programs and charity events. He is not just a fighter, he's a role model inspiring the next generation to pursue their dreams with determination and integrity. Rachmanov supports various causes privately and promotes youth development through his foundation and the upcoming training center, Nomad MMA Academy. This project aims to provide a platform for young fighters to train and grow. As Rachmanov continues his journey in the UFC, his focus remains on climbing the welterweight rankings. With an impressive record and a growing fan base, he is well on his way to becoming one of the sport's greats. Shavkat Nomad Rachmanov's story is not only about athletic accomplishments, it's also a tale of cultural pride, perseverance, and the power of dreams. From the vast steeps of Kazakhstan to the bright lights of the UFC, he embodies the spirit of the nomad, constantly evolving, adapting, and conquering new territories. His journey is an inspiration to all, not just aspiring fighters, but to anyone who dares to dream big. What have you learned from Shavkat Nomad Rachmanov's journey? We would love to hear from you in the comments below. Thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with us today. Remember to come back next week to get all the best that the fighting world has to offer. See you in the next video.